Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little insight into what your first makeup bag could or should or would look like just for you guys because I know some of you are a little bit unaware, unsure, just don't know what to take out with them so this first makeup bag starter kit could be even something that someone of an older type who understands makeup and knows what they want might leave in their handbag just as a quick go to just in case they wake up one day in the middle of nowhere and they need to put on some makeup. I don't know why that would occur but you never know. I've just got a little makeup bag here, it's a Soap and Glory makeup bag, it isn't big enough to fit all my stuff in had to leave something out I can't actually even zip it up but it's just a little cute bag um, you can get a makeup bag from anywhere it's totally up to you where you get yours from and I'll just go through the contents of this makeup bag just for you just so you know as well all the makeup in this bag is from drug stores high street stores so they are affordable I will link all the prices and all I've mentioned in this video down below in my little drop box First off is concealer, so I picked up 17 stay time up to 18 hours concealer which is just this one here. I actually wear this concealer, everything that I'm going to show you is what I wear and I love it. I know everyone raves about the um, collection, collection 2000, whichever one you want to go with, concealer and I do really really like that one however I also found that whenever I wore it it was more clumpy rather than liquidy. Maybe it was me, maybe it's my fault but this one I really really love because it just does a smooth application and this is just for around your eyes or maybe on some blemishes because obviously when you're younger you are more prone to spots and because we're younger we're more prone to picking them and squeezing them because we don't want spots and then when you get to however old you are now and you realise that oh wait I shouldn't pick that spot because now I've got a big blemish so this is what this one is for the second thing you need in your makeup bag is foundation and foundation is very very picky because when you're younger for your first makeup kit you want foundation that is quite light and not a heavy coverage because you don't want to be the girl who has the foundation who's too dark for their skin and also isn't blended in well so you have the thick line going through there which a lot of girls used to make um, that mistake in my class when I was in like year 7 or 8 so when I was about 11 or 12 and it was quite awful. So the two I picked is from Rimmel London. The first one is Wake Me Up and Match Perfection. These two are amazing. This one is amazing because it has an anti-fatigue effect, which means it will just wake you up a bit more as it's called Wake Me Up. And you'll go outside and if, you, if you're really, really tired and you've got the dark, dark circles underneath your eyes, it will just kind of get rid of them and make you just look a little bit more fuller and fresher. Whereas the Match Perfection is also really really good because it is great under any light so you can enter any light, it can be dark, it can be anything and it will just make your skin look so one whole colour and flawless like literally it will make your skin look flawless so these two are both really really good and very affordable I think one's, this one's £7.99 and this one's £8.99 so it's just like £1 difference and as I said I will link everything down below but these two are the go-to foundations for your first makeup bag for face powders um, you don't have to wear a face powder some people don't, some people do, I personally do wearing a face powder will give you that matte look so your face won't look dewy, it will look very matte and it also might make your makeup look a little bit more thicker because you have that layer on. If you don't want that then do not wear the powder, if you just want the lightness and that's fine. And also if you have oily skin sometimes the foundation can come off quite, um, what am I saying? Uh, the foundation can come off quite easily with oily skin which is why matte is quite good for that um, powder, not matte. Um, but this one is again Rimmel London, it's the Stay Matte Foundation, I've actually used quite a lot of it as you can see. And this literally just go to all over your face, it will keep your makeup in place, make it look really really great. But if you don't really have oily skin, if your makeup stays on for a long time, or you don't want that thick look, some people feel quite suffocated by wearing powder, if you don't want that then just leave this one out. But that is a very 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 good powder and again cheap and affordable. Staying true to Rimmel. We have the London Rimmel Natural Bronzer. 
and I'm again I've used quite a lot of that so natural bronzer is amazing as well because it will give you that darkness just around here just to make you look a little bit more like oh look at me mm -mm. which you actually don't even need at a young age this is not something you need it's not something you will rely on really you just want to cover up any blemishes or any spots that you have and just make yourself look a little bit more fuller and awake so bronze is more of a luxury at this time um, I got 021 in which is sunlight and it is a great bronzer and it's very cheap as I said I think this was like 4 95 and it's just really really nice to delicately put on your cheeks it will just give you a little bit more colour um, if say if you wear the foundation so if you put like a foundation on it and it might wash you completely out so it might be a, you might have worn like this wrong colour or something so we'll just add a little bit back in so this is quite good now with your eyebrows you can do one of two things you can buy a pencil so this is Rimmel uh, yay loving the Rimmel um, this is Rimmel pencil and it has like the the brush bit on the lid there and it's just a standard normal pencil as you can see um, but this can be quite thick um, especially when you're young you kind of use a pencil like a crayon and I don't mean that in an offensive way but just usually because I know I did it I'd go colour that all in and sometimes it would just be hideous um, so this is something that you want to do once you become a pro at the pencil I would say once you know how it works and what shade you are and where it's like most needed but you might not even need to be able to do your eyebrows you might just you you might not have a clue how to do them um, but you will learn in time but um, eyebrows isn't an essential at that age I, um, at a younger age or even if you're going somewhere you might not even feel the need to do your eyebrows but pencil is a good like thing to have in your bag in your back pocket just to touch it up but as I said it's not crucial and it is you have to be a master until you get there try avoid it so as a backup which is quite good um, you can get an eyeshadow palette so this is a collection 2000 eyeshadow palette and it's called Smoky Eyes and it's got all the eyeshadows on which is really really good if you want to wear eyeshadow but it also has the browns and they don't have glitter in them it's just matte and you can also use that for your eyes so instead of actually going and buying a brow kit which will cost you so much money you can just literally buy this which is I think like 4 95 5 and you can just get the brown on it and with a uh, eyebrow brush you just fill it in lightly delicately and then it's also amazing because you can also do your eyeshadow. So this is a very, very, very good idea. I would recommend this one over the pencil because this one you can do your eyes as well as your eyebrows. So that is the eyebrows. For the mascara, I've got the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. Oh, wait, Volume Million Access Lashes. I think that's what it's called and it is amazing it is quite good it is a little bit more expensive I think than the average one but it does have the volume and it does look quite natural because I'm wearing it now lastly for your lips you can wear any kind of lip gloss but personally I think you should just wear a Nivea Hydro Care so just take no colour on your lips because I just I think when you're younger you don't want to have too much going on and having so much on your lips might be a little bit wool so the Hydro Care if you just put it on it will make your lips quite shiny and I think that's enough I think that's all you need so I would just go for a Hydro Care and last but not least this is not makeup this is just something to have on you is a little mirror because you never know when you need to do your makeup so I have a little mirror my one has a little little flower on it um, and that's it basically so that's all you need in your first makeup starter kit as I said all of this is from the drugstores and very very affordable when you first buy it as a clump it may be quite expensive but if you just save up your pocket money and maybe get one thing a month one thing a week it'll become easier and maybe just go for the like the first so I would pick concealer over foundation if I had to pick at your age or a younger age simply because your skin isn't as bad and concealer will work a lot more better with covering up blemishes when foundation covers up the whole thing um, so I'd pick a concealer and obviously concealer is cheaper than foundation so if you're struggling for money I'd just do that I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was useful and helpful for you and you go out and you buy your makeup and you look fabulous um, everyone's going to be jealous I'm telling you, everyone's going to be jealous. 
So there we have it. First makeup starter kit done. I will see you next week. Hopefully. Hopefully. Bye.